Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another BoxyCharm unboxing and this one I'm actually going to do a try on haul for since I didn't do that with the first one. So if you don't know what BoxyCharm is, it is a monthly box subscription that costs about $21 a month and you get um, between four and six like full size products from different makeup brands. I kind of explained it in the video before so if you want to see more of the details about what the box is you can go back to that video because I probably am not going to explain it every single time that I get the box. But this is the box for September. It just looks like this just like the last box. Um, you open it up, it has a card that comes inside of it, and then all of the products, and we will get into that. So the theme for the card this month is Wildflower, and this is what it looks like. It's super pretty. Um, I have version two of the box. Supposedly there are three different versions that you get when you um, get the box sent to you, and I have version two. And on the inside, it just tells you what the products are, how much they cost, and a little description about them. This box only came with five products for this month. Um, and let's jump right into it. So first, I'm just gonna show you what products came in the box, and then we're gonna do the try on haul part. So let me hold the box up for you. This is what the inside of the box looks like. Sorry, you can't really see it. And the first thing that catches my eye, obviously, is this uh, one right here. And let me read you what it says. This is the Laura Geller New York Blush. This is a baked blush and brighten. Um, and it's in the shade Tropic Hue. Um, this is what it looks like when you open it. It's very pinky, but it's got like gold hues in it. And I'm not really one for like pinky blushes, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see. So that's the first one. And on the card, it says um, that it's $28. The next item in the box I see are these brushes right here. And these are the Alamar brush. Uh, these are from Alamar Cosmetics. And um, this is the Ojito brush set, I believe. They are $18 for these three brushes right here. Um, okay, so this first one that we have right here is kind of like a um, packer brush, I would want to say. So you could either use it on like the lid or maybe if you wanted to get like a really precise inner corner highlight or do the brow bone, pack some concealer on, whatever. This could kind of be like a universal eye brush. Then we have this little definer brush right here. This is really good for doing eyeliner or you could sm um, smudge it on your lash line um, or you could carve your eyebrows out with it and then we have this brush right here which is a very nice fluffy brush it is a very big fluffy brush and it's very flexible which I like they're very soft as well and the packaging is very intriguing I've heard a lot of people talk about the packaging how they like the green on this part and then the very dark like rose gold look so I'll be excited to try these out. The next thing I see in this box is this right here. This is the Nightingale Pretty Vulgar Eyeshadow Palette and it looks like this. And this is their Pretty Vulgar Nightingale Smoky Eyeshadow Palette. It is $35. Um, it has 12 highly pigmented shades of mattes, satins, and shimmers. And let, let's open it up. Now, I don't know if I like the packaging of it, like how it's like this, but I mean, it's fine. I'm not going to complain about it. And then it's got a nice mirror on it, so let's pull this off. So satisfying mirror and then this is what the actual eyeshadows look like now it is a very smoky palette and if any of you know me obviously i don't really do any smoky or like cool tone looks on my channel so it should be interesting trying to do a look with this palette since it's not really like my vibe that i go for but um we'll see how it goes and i'll be able to use those eyeshadow brushes that i got which would be nice and let's move forward. The next item that I see in the box that catches my eye is this little thing right here. This is the Hank and Henry, what is this? Oh, it's got an owl on the top of it, that's cool. This is the Hank and Henry Liquid Lipstick. This is $17, um, this is in the shade 
Petal Pusher, and it is a matte liquid lipstick. And it's got like a little lipstick tube on the inside, but it's actually liquid lipstick. So it's got this part right here and a little dope applicator. It smells kind of good. It smells like vanilla. like. Cupcakes. And last but not least is the Butter London Stroke of Wow Roll On Liner. Now they did have two kind of liners that they were sending out in the box. They had this roll on one and a regular one. Um, I've never had a roll-on liner before, nor did I really care for like the craze about it or anything. So we'll see how it goes. The packaging is pretty interesting. Um, it is in the shade Pitch Black. It does retail for about $19. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the Laura Geller Baked Blush. And I'm gonna take it on this e.l.f. brush and dive right in. Looks super pigmented, so I'm gonna tap, tap, tap. And then we're gonna just put that right on the high points of the cheeks, but like right where the apples are. Because this is what's gonna really add that color and warmth back into our look since we are going to go in with such cool colors with the eyeshadow palette. For someone who isn't a blush kind of person like myself, I really like this because it's super natural. It's like a natural blush to your face basically and I can really see the sheen in it. Like you can't see it on camera but I can see it in person and I just really like the natural like rosy look that it gives me and I don't feel like I put too much on. Like I feel like this is the perfect amount of color that our cheeks are going to need from um, using the Cool Tone eyeshadow palette. So I really like this blush. I 
I think next I'm actually gonna go in with the lipstick or the liquid lipstick just to get an idea of what the color looks like. I really like the smell of it. So this feels like super comfortable on the lips. It is really dark. Huh? What do you mean? Um, if it's too small for her mouth and I don't want her to choke on it, then you can take it away. But she ate that much of it? Jesus. Is it too small for her mouth? Uh, so I really like the color of it. It's a really nice like fall color, berry color. It's like this really nice pinky, like plum almost shade. Um, darker colors kind of scare me like this. When I was putting it on, it, the applicator felt more like spongy than it did like doe foot, like the regular doe foot applicators. So it feels comfortable, not drying at all. I really like it. And um, now let's move on to the eyes. Not really sure what kind of eye look I wanna go for, but I think the first color that I'm gonna go in with is this shade right here. It's this very like taupey gray shade and it's called Hide and Seek. Just to test it out, and I'm gonna take it on this uh, Alomar Cosmetics blending brush. And we're gonna go right into the crease. can already see the topiness from it. I really like this blending brush. It's super soft. It's a lot softer than the other blending brushes that I have. It's super flexible, so it's really easy to get that pigmentation on the Now that eye. I feel like that color is blended on there pretty well, I'm going to go in with the shade Flip Out. And it, this is more of a warmer, like, chocolatey brown versus the rest of the palette that's a little bit more on the cool tone side and I'm going to take that on the same brush and this is very deep so I'm going to try and be careful with how much of this I put on. You see how much that deepened the crease up and I think I'm going to take it on the other side now and I think I'm going to go for a halo smoky eye. I think I'm just gonna go in with this color Swoop, which is an even darker chocolate brown, or cool tone brown, on a smaller blending brush, and I'm gonna take that right into the crease of my eye. 
to bring some more depth into the look, make my eye socket look a little bit deeper. And a little bit more on the outer corner. Okay, and I think I'm gonna highlight the brow bone with the shade Nocturnal up here. And I think for my um, inner part or the center of my lid, I'm going to take the shade Clutch right here with this smaller Alamar Cosmetics brush. And this is more of a shimmery shade. We're going to put that right in the center where that halo effect is supposed to happen. Oh, that's beautiful. These shadows are really, really pigmented, and I feel like that could be kind of a bad thing with the cool tones because they can kind of get out of control if you're a little too heavy handed. Would I personally get this palette with my own money? No, because I do not like cool tone shadows. Is it a bad eyeshadow palette? No, not at all. It is beautiful. And then I think to just bring more light, I'm gonna take the shade Pillow Fight and put that right in the very center to highlight it some more. Do you see how it did that? Just make everything a little more reflective. And then for the lower lash line, I am just gonna take the shade Hide and Seek and flip out on this little definer brush and put that on the lower lash line super close to it and then I'm gonna go in with the darker shade and just focus that more on the outer part of my And then the very last thing that we have is the Butter London Stroke of Wow liner. The roll on wheel. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm just gonna make a little wing. I'm gonna start on my lash line. Kind of have to be really precise with this or else you could mess up um well i can tell you right now that i don't like the look because of the eyeliner like i like it like this but um, I wish they would have put something else in the box because I do not like the wheel on this. It's really hard to get a precise line. It's really hard to get your lash line, get super close to it and be really precise with it. I do not recommend this. I mean, not that you're just gonna buy it separately. I mean, if you want to, I guess, but um, I do not personally like the liner. I do like the eyeshadow palette. The overall value of this month's box came out to be $117. And obviously you're only paying $21 for it. So I think that that is a really good deal. We got a lot of higher end products in this month's box, which um, I would say is a pretty good deal right there. But overall, I'm okay and happy with the products, I guess. But this box doesn't really like wow me. I think last month's box really like gave me a good impression of what BoxyCharm is and what they do. So I'm excited to see what next month's box is, is going to be because I know that they have their good and their bad months. So we'll see how it goes. But overall, I think that the subscription is good just because it's letting you try on makeup that you probably wouldn't buy on your own. Give, showing you brands that you may not see in every real retail store, drugstore, anything like that. So I think that that's really cool. But um, I really hope that you guys like this look. I know that this 
I kind of like throws it off. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Please stay tuned for my next BoxyCharm unboxing. It'll probably be a little bit different than this just because I have to find my groove and it like it's only my second box. But um, yeah, leave some comments down below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!